Hey guys, this is Gwen from The Bold Abode and today I'm going to show you how to create a very simple printable using Google Draw. So if you're familiar with Google Docs, they have a program also in the drive called Google Draw and you can make use this to make a really simple printable. So just click over here on new and go to Google Drawings and it'll pull up a new document. It's just one page and it is in the landscape orientation. So if you wanted portrait, a lot of printables are in portrait, you just go to file and page setup and then down to custom, flip flop those numbers and you will get a portrait layout. But today we're just doing the landscape. So um, if you want to change the background, when it saves, it's going to save automatically to white if you're on a transparent background. But let's go ahead and just put on the white. Oh, that looks like gray go all the way over to white and it'll give you a nice clean white background so today we're going to do a quote and it's just very I'm keeping it very very simple we're just going to say yes you can and um, add a shape to it to dress it up just a tiny bit so I have this quote on as a wallpaper on my computer and so every time I've that little voice in my head starts to say, no, no, you can't do this. I can look at my computer and it reminds me that, yes, I can. So I love this little quote and that's what we're going to use today. So it's just going to be some text. So we're going to pop up here to this T, that's the text box. And if you click anywhere, it's going to just load a text box. So the first part of it is going to be yes. And we're going to put a comma there, but I'm going to make this box a little bigger. So all you have to do is grab a corner and click and drag to make it bigger. So to make your font bigger, just highlight all of your text and then we're going to come up to our text and we're going to choose a text first. So there's all of these texts here, but they have more. So don't feel like you're limited to those. So you'll just, you can scroll and scroll and there's tons of Google fonts that you can use and choose and play around with. So I'm just going to click cancel because my font that I want to use is right here. So I'm going to change the font size while I'm at it. And now look, it looks like you can only go up to 96, but that is a big fat lie. If you type in your number that you want it, so let's see 175, that will make that font even bigger. So to grab this, put it where we want it, maybe about right there, um, that's where we want to be. So if you really want something completely centered on the page, like if I was just going to do one word, go, <laughs> then I would just come up here. I want to make my text box as small as the text and I'm going to come up here to arrange and I'm going to click center on page horizontally arrange center on page vertically and that's going to give me a nice centered word but I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger type in my font that I want to use and move it a little bit out of the way so we can kind of put our words together so now I'm going to type in the words you can so I need to grab another text box and okay so I'm going to make this a nice coordinating font, something that's a little bit different. So I have this giant, big, blocky yes. And then I want something a little bit more curvy. So just to complement it and give it some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Contrast. Give it some contrast. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to appear and grab my satisfy because I really like that cute little font. And I'm going to try in here 200 and see what happens. So obviously I've got to make my font box a whole lot bigger to see if it'll fit. Okay, so that's really too big. So I'm going to pull that back down to about 175. Still a little bit, maybe 50. Maybe that's about right. So we can always play with that in a minute. So I'm going to pull that up just a little bit smaller click on it and you can move it by putting finding well it'll give you that little move box there come on there okay so I'm just gonna layer this in 
just about where I think. See if I can use the arrows. Okay, so now I'm using the arrows to get it kind of perfect in like that. Okay, so now I think that looks good, but I want to put a little something to it. So I'm going to add on a little heart shape just for fun. Here's a little heart. So when I click on this, you want to click and drag. Otherwise, if you click, if you just click, it's going to give you this little bitty tiny heart. Let's see. Doot. Okay, that's not so bad, but it can get really teeny tiny. So obviously, I don't want that blue. So to come up and change that blue color, I'm going to come up to the fill, and I'm just going to pop in a bright pink. Actually, I want to change that. And so let's do custom. If you know your hex code, then you can put in your own code in the pink that I like to use that matches my blog is FF0088. So nice, no, that's not it. FF0088. There we go, FF0088. I'm gonna make that just a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna pull this down to kind of fit behind the A of can but you want to get it kind of where you want it before you pull it to the back. Obviously, we can't leave it like that. So what you want to click on it, highlight it, and then right click and you want to click order and you want to send it backwards and that'll pop it in behind. And so it just gives it a nice little um, detail to break up all that black and white. But if you need to move it any, you're going to run into this. So you can't get to that heart because of the font. So what I would do if I needed to move this, I would just click on that, order, send that to the back, and then I can access my heart again and kind of move it around, you know, wherever you might want to put it. So it's a little bit trial and error. It's not Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, which I use mostly to do my printables. It's, it's so much more powerful than um, Google Draw, but Google Draw is free, so I understand that's a great thing. So I'm gonna send that, send that to back. Um, actually, I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. So I just hit Command Z, Control Z on the PC to um, undo moving it to the back, so I could fix it. So now I'm gonna send it back. So when you're happy with your printable, then all you have to do come up here and name it. And then that'll automatically save in your drive. But then if you want to download it, say you're, if you're a blogger and you want to offer this on your blog, you need it in a PDF. So you just come down to File, Download as, PDF Document, and it'll download as a PDF. Obviously you saw that you could also download it as a JPEG or a PN PNG. So if you do it as a, an image, you could even create your logo this way for your blog. So that's a pretty simple way to do it because you can customize the size and everything. So um, this printable will be available down below this video on the on the uh, post page. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at abide at theboldabode.com. Thanks so much. Again, this is Gwen from The Bold Abode, and I hope you have fun creating your very own printables.